Singapore's population of critically endangered ruffles, banded langurs, has welcomed a new member with the birth of a male infant, the first baby of the species sighted here in the wild in 2024. The baby was first seen on February 24 in the Central Cashman Nature Reserve by several wildlife photographers, a few months after his mother was spotted pregnant. One photographer, Mr. Jeffrey Teo, 53, who works in the finance industry, said, I chanced upon a pregnant female in the family two to three months before seeing the baby. Since sighting the female, I made an effort to try spotting the family whenever I went for my regular walks in the area. Usually, the mum and baby will be with a large group of family members and often high up in the trees. We try to stay as quiet as possible so that the langurs will be relaxed with our presence and hang around longer. Another photographer, Mr. Lao Jiaobao, said that he had photographed the baby on February 25th and managed to catch another glimpse of it in March. We were expecting to see the baby not long after hearing that Jeffrey had spotted the pregnant mother, he said. Spotting the all-white fur characteristic of the species young. The infant was most likely born between late December to early January, according to primatologist Andy Ong, who added that the birth takes the population here to 76 individuals. The ruffles, banded langur, is endemic to Singapore and the south of peninsular Malaysia. Dr Ong said, newly born infants take roughly 8 to 10 months to take on the adult's fur coloration. Indicated by the species' distinctive white fur on the inside of the legs and in the area around the tummy. She added that the monkeys have a gestational period of six months and become juveniles in one and a half years. At that point, they move independently but might not be sexually mature. Dr. Ong helms the Raffles Bandit Langur Working Group, which drives conservation efforts of the elusive animal which is one of the most threatened primates in the world. The group is managed and funded by Mandai Nature, with members from the National Parks Board, Singapore Universities, Nature Groups, agencies from Malaysia and the Jane Goodall Institute Singapore. On April 25, NPAC said that camera traps installed on the Ecolink at BK had recorded the first sighting of a langua using the link bridge in October 2023. A sign that the monkey could be venturing into other forested areas to find food and meats. This, the agency said, represented an encouraging sign for the species as it means the link bridge was being used to expand its habitat and increase its chances of survival. The monkey had been close to extinction with fewer than 14 counted in the wild in the 1990s, but recovered to around 40 individuals in 2010 and 68 in 2021. Around six new Lungo babies have been recorded each year for 2022 and 2023, Dr. Ong said. A study co-authored by Dr. Ong and published in 2023 showed that the Lungo's population was predicted to double within the next 15 years and expected to exceed 240 individuals by 2071. Dr. Ong had said then, the results presented in our paper show that with the right protection and management measures in place, we can bring a species back from the brink of extinction.